I mean, we, we've, we have done it a little bit. We have done it better this year. There's no doubt about it. I think the the issue that we have is because we do need to film it um, if we want to. And I want to continue playing in comps. I do want to do the, the quest for the Open again. And I think... So is that an official announcement for next year? I, I think so. I, th- I think we need to plan it again a little bit more and kind of understand what worked well, what didn't work well. I think that the most nerve wracking thing for me, and it is something I do think about, like there were two videos from Quest for the Open this year that we went into, like without understanding what the title or the kind of thumbnail and stuff was going to be. So we went into those videos blind. Now, thankfully, one of them um, kind of came tied first in. Yeah, and then the other one had like my best score of the year, so they kind of took care of themselves. Yeah, you, hold on, wait. You mean you didn't plan those things? No, they weren't scripted. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it didn't. It, it didn't. didn't. Oh, so, sorry, guys. I've actually it's actually scripted for me to win yeah, this I event. Called, I called all the players together on a group. Yeah. I said, "This is my scorecard." <laughs> yeah. You guys what, just plot yourselves this, around. Here's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, so that's again. So, so we've got like let's say comps coming up. We've got the Leeds Cup, which I want to film. Mm-hmm. So that's the oldest trophy in professional golf. The oldest, the actual physical yeah, trophy. Yeah, the actual trophy. You were playing for the oldest trophy in professional golf. Mm. So there you go. So there's, the, there's the video. There's the video. So yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter how I play. So I can go into that with a clear mind, mm. really figure out, you know, the course, try and play, try and enjoy it, which is something I definitely didn't do open qualifying. However, you say that going in with a plan means that you play more relaxed because you know what the video is going to be. But, yeah. but your evidence contradicts it because the two videos that you've just stated, the ones where we didn't have a plan, you won and you played your best goal for the year. That, yeah, that's true. I don't think that was, I didn't, you know, summon <laughs> up superhuman golfing strength because I was like, oh, we don't have a title for the video. <laughs> this, I, I can imagine what the thumbnail's not going to be. But it would allow, certainly would allow me to be, you know, a lot more relaxed. So it's trying to figure out what the angles on those events are going to be. And it's, mm. it, it does sound a little bit, it, it does sound a little bit unromantic, but the fact is that if, if we want to do it and we actually want to make a video series out of it, people will have to want to watch it. Yeah. And you know, if no one clicks on it, then it doesn't pay for itself. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I, but I think that obviously going into this year and like what the quest for the open over those episodes has built up it had built up a following it and i think that's what we did very well this year was that yeah, yeah. it built up that following it built up that anticipation and you know everything got to the crux of this regional thing this was the you know the big thing and obviously it didn't didn't happen but uh, like think- we built it up and we i feel like we told the story of what open qualifying is. Well, I think the reason for that as well, the reason that so many of you guys, and you have messaged me a lot um, with positive comments about the series, so thank you. It's more about the actual, I, I, I do like playing comps and I do actually want to get better. Mm. And it does- <laughs> Contrary it, to popular And it popular. does like, it does feed through. Like, you know, I actually want to become a better golfer and this year overall, apart from that absolute monstrosity of around last week, I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I, I, yeah. Which I do need to remember while I'm, you know, crying to myself in the dark corner. So how to then evolve that, how to keep getting better and how to yeah. kind of make it more interesting. Yeah. That's what we need to, yeah, we need you, to have a look at. You talk about the horror show. I mean, it, it was hard. It was hard for us to walk around and film because we could tell that you're, you know, f- paring one and two, like even, even, Oh, I actually need to play this back to you, but I think it didn't make the edit, but there's a bit where you're stood on the tee on hole one and you look down the fairway. And if you're not watching on YouTube, you'll have to just imagine, but you look, you look down the fairway and you go like that. Mm. And it was hard for us to film because we knew that you weren't comfortable and you weren't playing good and we were we were frustrated you were frustrated you were probably annoyed because people had come and you weren't providing them what you felt like you want you wanted to provide them which was a good you know a good show and some good golf which you were definitely capable of playing those are the negatives what did you learn from that round of golf like what did you learn about yourself and your game um um was that rain, by the way? It is rain. Yeah, rain yeah. yeah, welcome to Manchester. Um, <laughs> the summer was the last four yeah, days. That was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I think the, the most pressing thing I learned was that 
all a lot of the work that I've done kind of building into this, like with my swing, for example, that really did fall apart under the pressure because when I was watching that video back, like some of the swings, I said my back swing was, was incredibly short. Like, it, mm. so I was obviously kind of tense and I wasn't kind of relaxing. Um, and that's all down to kind of how I was approaching things mentally. So even though I have done work on that this year, probably the most work I've ever done on that, um, you know, is something that I've always bypassed mostly. It's obviously not enough mm. and I do need yeah. to keep working on it. Um, that's going to be the most difficult thing because again, going back to the actual videos that we make. Yeah, you've always said this. Nobody wants to watch a video of golf psychology. Mental game, very hard to put in a thumbnail. It's just I, like, again, uh, and don't, uh, people listening to this might be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, re I'm really, really interested in that. That's fine and you might be and great, I am as well and I need to get better at it. But it's the hardest thing to film. It's the hardest thing to make engaging um, and it would only work at the end of the process. Mm. So I have to basically have a, you know, I don't know what it's going to be realistically if I do this over the next kind of eight months or so. You know, months and months of working with someone, months and months of practicing and getting better. And I can only really make a video from it at the end result. Yeah, so it's like a lot of time and, you know, energy investment for something that not that people aren't necessarily going to understand in a video. Yeah. I mean, it's you can't tell people what's going on in your brain. Well, I can. <laughs> It'd be terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, this is supposed to be a PG podcast. You don't, so, you so don't want to hold know. on to that for a like, second. I don't want to know. You know, it's hard to get that, get what's going on in your head across to people. If, if I can only use the right music, <laughs> you know, the right amount of times. If people could have heard what was going through my head at open qualifying, that course would have been empty. People would have been running for their lives if they could hear what was going on through I, that. I, I think you should bring back Brandon. 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 Brandon from Myrtle Beach. You know, I think that was one of the big differences of like what well, I, I felt that at open qualifying that that was different to like Myrtle. Obviously, you ultimately played better and you drove it better, but you didn't have that person there with you to just like Brandon was just chat, 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 you know, keeping you loose and everything like that. You know, obviously having, you know, a couple of us on the bag, I just don't think that was the the play. Yeah, maybe there needs you know, to we, be a like he, maybe there needs to be a long term yeah, quest for the open yeah. relationship with well, a caddy. Exactly, you're hired exactly. for quest for the open. Exactly, come that, to my events. That was and, what I was thinking. Yeah, because you know David didn't. You know, and there's no offense to David or Jacob. They had no idea about that golf course, really. So you know, yeah, just those I. sorts of things can like it, really help you along, sort of thing. It was more to be honest. I, I don't. I, I mean, it was more to do with wow. It's absolutely smashing it down. Yes, yeah. It is it was more to do with the fact that I just wasn't enjoying the day. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't yeah. talking. I wasn't, yeah. you know, I was very kind of insular, which is something which we haven't been in conference this year because we've been filming. Yeah. So that's definitely a lesson that I need to take forward on that. Mm. Um, yeah. And that, that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely my biggest takeaway. And, you know, the one thing we've done really well with this series, which I am really happy about is talking about that long term kind of, investment of time yeah. mm. you know we had those good results kind of in the middle of the year pretty much because of the work and the practice that we're putting at the start of the year yeah so that's why we need to really start thinking about now kind of work in practice building up to going into next year which mm. involves playing in comps and all the rest of it so yeah 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 it's just planning and it's you know it's investing the time mm. so you need to find some sort of you know tour in the you know the middle east where it's hot during christmas exactly. and we'll all go and literally to exactly. well, yeah exactly. so we're announcing it now we're going to play <laughs> in the malaysian <laughs> <laughs> mid-level pro tour ah yes <laughs> god very well supported yeah, the malaysian mid pro level tour um anyway final qualifying is today so mm. if you are playing in final qualifying or you know someone who is go and play well absolutely smash it we hope you get into the open um the uh, guy who we played with, whose name is now escaping me, Hibbert. Jake. Jake Hibbert. Mm -hmm. He is playing in final qualifying today, so let's hope that he gets through. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Next um, next episode, we'll have, a, we'll have a very quick look back and we'll see 
if anyone who went through um, regional qualifying yeah. has managed to get all the way through. Okay. Good so idea. people who didn't Great. just go straight into final. Yeah, very good idea. Who, who went yeah. all the way through. I like that.